guys, welcome to the new plank challenge. No, we're not doing any insane moves like this, but if you're looking to strengthen and tighten up your core, you're gonna love this workout. As always, you can include this workout in your usual routine or you can join the rest of us by following a 15-day schedule on my website. Now, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe and leave a comment down below and let's get started. We've got 14 exercises today, 30 to 40 seconds on and 10 seconds rest. But let's get on the mat and start with spider plank swipe. Bring one leg to the side as you do a spider plank and swipe to the opposite elbow, then repeat on the other side. Make sure you keep your core engaged, so breathe in, brace your stomach muscles, squeeze your glutes and make sure you're not holding your breath too. We're not taking any breaks here, we're going straight into plank scorpions. Get into a low plank on your elbows and have one foot go across the other like so as you dip your hips while engaging your core. If you need to take a break in between supersets, please do so, it's okay. You'll get stronger over time so don't stress. Great work guys, we've got a quick 10 seconds break now and we're doing an inchworm plank. Start in the low plank position then squeeze that core and take a few tiny steps forward and hop back into a low plank position. For low impact, you can hold a high plank or low plank. No break here guys, stay in the low plank and lift one leg upwards one at a time. Slow and controlled, you're working your arms, your core and your legs. Just feel that burn and keep pushing through guys. But again, if you can't hold it, just take a little break, it's okay. Nicely done guys, we've got another 10 seconds break and we've got ski abs next. Remember to engage your core and take it nice and slow when you do this. Or you can do a low impact alternative without the jumps. No breaks here guys, we're going straight into lateral plank walk. Walk laterally to the left twice, then back and repeat. Or you can do it in a high plank which should be easier. Make sure you're adjusting this based on your fitness level.
You're doing great guys, plank rotation and dips are next. Start in a side plank and do one or two dips, then rotate onto the other side and repeat. For low impact, you can do it on your knees. No break here guys, we've got hip dips next. We're halfway through the workout guys, so just keep pushing through, you can do it. We've got another 10 seconds break, take a longer break if you need to, it's totally okay to do so. We've got mountain climbers next. Bring your knee as in as possible while engaging your core and make sure your butt is not poking up or dripping down. No breaks here, get into a low plank and we're doing some plank hops. For an easier alternative, get in a high plank and tap one leg to the side, one at a time. Four more exercises to go guys, we've got side plank bicycle next. While in a side plank, alternate both legs and crunch towards your elbow. Work those core muscles and obliques for low impact, you can just do it on your knees. We're gonna flip around and do the other side so no breaks here unless you really need it then it's totally fine too. Just jump back in when you can. Alright, next we're doing a low plank and you're gonna lift your opposite hand and leg upwards then outwards and then repeat on the other leg. For an alternate exercise, you can do bird dog.
And the last exercise is going to be everyone's new favorite, up and down jacks. Bring one arm up into a high plank while jumping both legs to the side, then the other arm up and jump both legs in. You can do this at your own pace, don't worry about getting it perfectly synced. Take your time to learn the move and over time you'll get better at it. For low impact, just do a high plank jacks. And that's the workout guys, I hope you found this workout a bit of a challenge. Don't feel defeated, if you struggle with some exercises, you get stronger over time. Drop me a comment and let me know how you went, and don't forget to smash that like button and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye!